Hello everyone. Did you understand the topic of the positive and negative sides of the section from the last tutorial? If so, we can complete the other diagrams of the moment and the axial force. Here you can see the already determined shear force distribution. Afterwards, you can quickly determine the moment distribution. It reaches the maximum in the zero crossing of the shear force distribution because the moment is the antiderivative of the shear force. The shear force is again the antiderivative of the line load, but with a negative sign. This is the reason why, with a constant distributed load, the shear force runs linearly and the moment runs quadratically along the beam. Now let's calculate the maximum moment in the mid-span. We cut in the positive side of the section at x equal to L through 2 and draw the acting forces. On the left, the support force AS acts upwards. In the middle of the half-span length, we can generate the resultant of the distributed load. It is QL through 2. The left vertical support force is again QL through 2. If we now carry out the equilibrium condition in the section S, we get the moment at the location S. This is MS minus AZ times the lever arm 1 plus R1 times lever arm 2, since the resultant rotates in the same direction as the moment. On the right, of course, is 0. Lever arm 1 is equal to L through 2 and lever arm 2 is half of the span length, thus L through 4. Overall, we get the equation, ms minus ql through 2 times l through 2 plus ql through 2 times l through 4 equals 0. If we continue to calculate, it results in ms minus ql squared through 4 plus ql squared through 8 equals 0. We get ms minus ql squared through 8 equals 0. Finally, we come to the well-known civil engineer formula. The moment in the middle of the span equals QL squared through 8. On the other side, the normal force distribution can be determined most easily by the section in the negative side of the section. In this case, the normal force points to the left, thus the equation is minus NS minus F equals 0 and thus NS equals minus F. The same axial force results in each area of the span length where we can intersect. That is, the normal force distribution is constant. The reason for this is that we only have an external horizontal action at the beam end. I hope I have helped you to expand your knowledge in less than 4 minutes. In the next tutorial, we will gain an overview of internal forces in systems with different loads and supports.